Okay, so simply bring your attention to the room and to your body, aware of the sitting body connecting and being mindful and leaving all your responsibilities aside just being here and now in this very moment and developing awareness of the body and the mind so practice of a meditation is to develop our attentiveness alertness an ability to be aware of the things that takes place this very moment so practice of a meditation is simply to develop our awareness and remembering to be mindful of this awareness and in a practice we always have to begin from the beginner's mind from the very basic level sitting comfortably relax the body relax the mind free from the old impediments all the responsibilities It's like I'm making a clearing the all the weeds in the garden to plant a beautiful flower. Unless we have clear all the weeds, only then we can plant the seed of the of that flower. Similarly, we have to be free from all the impediments, all the distractions, all the responsibilities that we are responsible for. At least of this two hours of time. And it is the time that it belongs to you only for you a beautiful moment nothing to read and nothing to do anything but simply developing this awareness of this body and awareness of this mind a planting a seed of this awareness in our mind in a practice we need to feel the very moment here and now each feelings that we feel is the present moment and we tend to engage in the past memories worrying about or fearing about the future incidences but we do not feel it is the intellectual intelligence so practice of a meditation is to feel it 
at the very moment when it is taking place. So we start off with feeling this body. It's called a contemplation of the body. And this feeling of the body is a very crucial and essential part of the practice. Because this body is always here in this present moment. So mindfully being aware of this whole entire body as it is sitting here and now in this very moment. And you may check the position that you are sitting, whether it is comfortable or not. Or you may check any tensions around. Or maybe, are you holding any parts of the body? So complete release from all the discomforts. And again the practice of a meditation is just to feel this relaxing mind, relaxing the body, comfortably sitting is not the ultimate of the practice. The practice is the cultivation of our positive mind. And knowing and understanding this mind as it works, how it is relating to the things that we observe and we come to contact and how we are proliferating. But to see this mental activities, we have to have a very sharp, concentrated mind and that we can develop from contemplating on the body. And due to this body is so huge and it's very difficult to train this mind we choose a specific place to work on it. In order to cultivate or in order to train this mind, so that's why practice of a meditation is a mind training process to develop our awareness. So the place that we start to pay attention to in our body, we call it a primary object. And whatever other objects comes, we call it a secondary object or the visiting object. Once our body fully relaxed, in a comfortable position, then we settle down our mind onto the primary object. That's breath-related object, whether it's at the beginning of the nose the beginning of the breath at the nose, middle at the chest or the abdomen at the end of the breath.
So urgently working and paying attention to on that one of these at first you may simply be aware of that as it takes place whichever ways it is taking place you simply aware as they are being mindful as they are as it is taking place nothing to add on nothing to think of no intervention nothing simply aware of yourself as it is taking place naturally normally and our mind as this is very habitual that always traveling one from another it would be difficult to keep it in a one object so that moment as we pay attention to the primary object mind wonders of that moment observe acknowledge and note this distracted mind and gently bring it back to the moment as it is taking place to the primary object now this is the training training this mind working with this mind Once we have succeeded in this initial training process then we can apply into the advance practice a so called analytical practice ability to analyze internally with your own experience with your own practice and realizing things as they truly are and gradually we will be able to see the natural phenomena the phenomena of change and phenomena of a non self and how this relates to our day to day stress anxiety problems and ability to see the way out freeing on self so tonight working with your primary object and as you're working with your primary object whatever secondary objects arises observe acknowledge note and let it go back to the primary object and as you feel that you are settled down ability to be with the primary object for a certain period of a time and try to notice the connection and how it disconnects so urgently persistently diligently continue practicing until you hear the gong